Hi, um, this is really for Tony, but I'm going to probably leave this on um, the website. Uh, another weird name for a product. Um, this is the Brahma 7 Plus. Um, now, why is it called the Brahma 7 Plus? Well, if you look at this, you, if, you, if you've seen most of the Brahma 7 videos, you'll notice there's a big hole at the bottom. Okay? Now, my friend Tony um, from Hexascope was experimenting. Um, with an old Xiaomi Brahma 7 and uh, he, 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 <laughs> he wanted to get rid of the Nandir but like myself, he's the same as me, he likes the vertical stitches and vertical stitches are really useful um, and he did some experimentation and it worked and I decided to make it into, a, a, into a, an, an adapter for the Brahma 7 now this bear in mind is for the Git 2, this is not, uh, sadly this is not for the Xiaomi um, but uh, Tony makes Sherry's experience on how he did it. It was a, a little bit, I wouldn't say he thought, yeah, well, he thought, he was kind of bolted this together. Uh, but this is, this is a, you know, a, a, I've, I've made a, an adapter for the, the Git 2 version of the, the, the ProRes Brahma 7, okay? Um, so uh, it's basically a small adapter that sits, so you, you put the Brahma 7 upside down, so you've got two cameras angled down, which are doing the base, You've got five around the side, and you've got but one on the top now. Um, it's just a different way of configuring the system, so now you get no Nadir. Um, now, why use the? Why go to all this trouble when you could just use a Brahma six? It's a really good question. The answer is the cat's coming. Yeah, see how she walks past the stitching. See how that works. Um, the answer is the vertical stitching is very nice, especially if you're doing things with people walking by. Um, if you've got uh, audio sync issues, that kind of thing, the, 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 stitch in, the vertical stitch is very nice. It's a nice smooth transition from one to the other. Rather than the, with the, the normal cube rigs where you've got the angle and, and the video kind of does that across the video. So it's actually a really nice system. It's a bit more uh, tricky. You've got eight cameras for one thing. Now, the software controls it. Now, I can't show you controlling it because it's I'm filming. But basically, in fact, maybe it's, I think you've probably seen this, but I'm actually controlling it with my app, which is running on Android. Um, and this will, this has a new feature called Up to 18 Cameras. Um, that's a separate video. But basically, this is usually, oh, you probably don't, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got 18 cameras on there. And only, only eight are active. Okay? Um, and what that basically means is we can control up to 18 cameras, I'm, I don't even know what to explain that, um, but yeah, so uh, that, I'm using that function, now most people who've got the app probably have the version that doesn't have Activate, it's coming soon, and this is actually also not only a test for the for the, uh, the eight way configuration, but it's also a test for the software, which works, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here, anyway, so that's it, I'm going to stop this now, and um, this is quite long for just a hello, I'm testing, um, but I thought I might as well make it. Alright, okay, thanks very much.